We don't need to do this in front of your classmates, sure. It's all right, Principal Weatherby. I'll find out soon enough. Find out what? That I'm guilty. So Cheryl's taken into questioning, and they kind of hound her, thinking that she's a suspect and she knows more than she's saying. Maybe this is all just a web of lies you're spinning to cover your own tracks. I didn't kill Jason! But she's not the only one who is actually questioned this time, and there's a lot more to the story that one of our characters is hiding. Mom, you have to stop sensationalizing this horrible thing. It's news, Betty. We own the Riverdale Register. We have a responsibility to keep the people informed. Alice is focusing on the Blossom family and how they're evil and very biased information, whereas Betty wants to expose the facts in a more morally just way. What am I doing here? The blue and gold isn't dead, Juggy. It's just... Dormant. Betty kind of revamps the school newspaper, The Blue and Gold, in order to expose the truth about Jason's death. Chuck You're Clayton. You're going on a date with Chuck? He's kind of a player. Who cares? He's the hottest of hot. So Veronica goes on a date with Chuck, who's like the Riverdale creme de la creme. I'm going to have my hands full with you, huh? I'm betting you can handle it. It goes very well, they have a nice little moment, but then the next day, he does something that humiliates her to the whole school. What the hell is a sticky maple? Veronica is very upset about what Chuck did to her, so they take matters into their own hands, and let's hope it doesn't go too far. You wanna help me get revenge on Chuck, Betty? Awesome, but you better be willing to go full dark, no stars. What do you say, in or out? 